Hi guys, in this video we will learn what is SQLite database and how to connect with Laravel application. So let me go here and I have created a basic node. What is SQLite database? SQLite database is a lightweight, self-contained and serverless SQL database engine. So that means the SQLite database is lightweight and like serverless SQL database that means you don't have to install and configure in your operating system. So you can see it's a widely used in mobile apps, small desktop applications and for local storage in web browser or simple projects. So that means widely used for mobile application for temporary data store and for the small desktop applications because they store in single file. So what is the key features of SQLite? So serverless, it doesn't require to separate server process like uh, SQL or uh, Postgres SQL everything is in single file so that means you don't require to separate server for SQLite database and you don't have to install any software or anything it's just single file data store in single file and zero configuration no setup or admin needed just include SQLite library and start to use it okay so you don't have to install and set up for the admin and single file all data included including the schema is stored in one dot sqlite or dot db file so that means it stored data in single file with dot sqlite extension sqlite compiled supports most standard sqlite uh, sql syntax for creating tables inserting querying updating and deleting data so that means it will talk with sql syntax so you can use sql language with that and you can create update and delete the table data cross platform works on almost all operating systems so that means it is working with ubuntu windows and also for macbook as well so it support all the operating system default database laravel use as a default database so laravel right now if you are installing laravel 11 laravel 12 default laravel provide sqlite database so you can work easily with that you don't have to do so much thing then when you upload in server then you can also change to like mysql or postgres so let's get started how to use and how it works with laravel so let me go and download fresh application so we'll say laravel new and it is asking for application name i will just say sql light demo okay and then it is asking for starter kit i don't want to use and it's creating a new fresh laravel tell application okay so let's wait a moment okay and it is asking for which database will your application use so by default you can see that sqlite selected i will keep that and just say in pm install no because we are not going to do anything just go to sql right okay and you can see that all the migrations running without you don't have to do anything so let me go to my vs code editor and open the project okay so open triple w me laravel and sqlite demo and now if i go here and yeah just i will remove this yeah go to env okay you can see over here database connection by default use sqlite over here okay and let me go to the config and go to the database and you can see that by default they have used sqlite you can also change with the configuration db database by default you can see that database underscore path database dot sqlite so let me go here database and you can see that database dot sqlite file that's created and you can see that you can change like if you want to store this database file in app or in bootstrap whatever folder or maybe you can like create a custom folder then you can change this path over here otherwise you can overwrite with something like this way yeah like custom and something like that yeah demo dot sqlite something like this something like this way you can change it as well okay but by default laravel does database.sqlite inside the database folder and if i click on it and you can open any way just i will keep this text you cannot maybe redouble but uh, you can see something like this way okay and if i go here if you are going to push to the production or push to the github then it is not going to uh, push to your github repository because if you go to the git ignore file you can see over here 
they automatically like already return sqlite ignore file okay so that means this database is not going to store in github so this is very easy to use like sqlite and that's the reason laravel already provide but it's for only like a small application if you are doing with like a large scale application or like a big project then you have to use mysql or something else the database because this is for startup and the small project so i hope guys you understand and you like the knowledge about sqlite so don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel guys